Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dr. Andrew Kim, MD. I'm a board certified psychiatrist and today we're gonna to review one of my personal vices, liquid deliciousness, AKA energy drinks. Now, it doesn't take a genius to realize that you shouldn't consume a ton of caffeine over a short span of time, but when's the last time you actually stopped to think about how much caffeine and sugar you're actually consuming with your favorite energy drinks? Well, I really haven't done that. So stick with me through this video and we're gonna review some of the most popular energy drinks one by one to do a breakdown of both the caffeine and sugar content with some visual aids to help us both learn. We're gonna review some energy drinks that have sugar and those that are sugar free. So let's review a couple of facts first to give us a reference range. How much caffeine is relatively safe to consume over the course of a day? Many sources indicate that about 400 milligrams spread out over the course of a day for healthy adults without underlying health conditions is relatively safe. So coffee lovers, breathe a sigh of relief because an eight ounce cup of black coffee contains about 96 milligrams of caffeine and an eight ounce cup of green tea contains about 28 milligrams of caffeine. Now, most of us already know that consuming caffeine can temporarily lead to increases in both blood pressure and heart rate, but consuming 200 milligrams or more of caffeine in one sitting can actually lead to mild caffeine intoxication. And this can look like things like stomach upset, nausea, dizziness, headaches, insomnia, and even irritability. So as you can see here, I've lined up some of my favorite energy drinks. Now, before we get started, let's remind ourselves of our frame of reference. Again, a standard eight ounce cup of coffee is roughly 96 milligrams of caffeine, zero grams of sugar, really. And what I've done is I've taken these sugar cubes and measured out the exact grams to represent how many grams of sugar are contained in each of these energy drinks. So let's get started. So first off, let's start off with a standard 8.4 ounce can of Red Bull. This can contains about 80 milligrams of caffeine. So actually slightly less than a cup of coffee, but it also contains 27 grams of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. So you could think of this as a very sugary cup of coffee. Moving on to our next drink, we have a 16 ounce can of Monster Energy. This bad boy contains 160 milligrams of caffeine, close to about almost two cups worth of coffee, and it contains 54 grams of sugar, packed with sugar and close to about two cups worth of coffee. Moving on next, we have, ooh, we have this bad boy, this big whopping bad boy of NAS, a 24 ounce can of NAS that contains 240 milligrams of caffeine. That is getting close to almost three cups worth of coffee and crazily, it has 77 grams of sugar. That is a ton of sugar. In fact, that's about 154% of your daily sugar intake that's recommended. So I know what you're saying right now. Dr. Kim, I don't want sugar and caffeine. I'm gonna do the smart thing, cut out the sugar, and just get the buzz from the caffeine. I want some sugar-free energy drinks. Well, even when you do that, you gotta be smart, you gotta read the labels, because there's some tricks. Here's what I mean. You look at this 16 ounce can of Rockstar Pure Zero, which has zero sugar, but sugar substitutes, this small can has 240 milligrams of caffeine. Again, 240, almost three cups worth of coffee. So think about what we just reviewed. This small can has the same amount of caffeine as this huge can of NAS. So you can't just look at the size of the can and eyeball it to guess how much caffeine there is. You gotta read the label, because this small can, same amount of caffeine as this one right here. Finally, let's wrap up with these bad boys at the end of the line. We got some bang and we got some rain. These guys are found easily at convenience stores, gas stations, and more and more groceries. And both of them have zero sugar, but each one is packed with 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's right, I said it, 300 milligrams of caffeine each. Now you're getting close to about three and one third cups of coffees worth of caffeine. So why do they pack so much caffeine in these cans? Well, if you think about it, they need to compete with their competitors. The cans that actually have sugar will also give you that sugar rush, that dopamine spike right in the beginning in addition to the caffeine. Because these are sugar free, they try to make up for it and stand out by having even more caffeine than their competitors. And they're basically trying to one up each other and up their game.
So I hope you found that demonstration helpful and now you have a better visual of how much caffeine and sugar are in some of your popular energy drinks. Just remember, everybody's sensitivity to caffeine is somewhat different. You got some people who can chug a Monster Energy and fall asleep in a few minutes and sleep all night long. And you got others who drink a Monster Energy and they're bouncing off the walls and are jittery all night long. So why should I even bother? I mean, it's just caffeine, Dr. Kim. It's not a big deal. Well, let me tell you this. About 20,000 visits per year to the emergency rooms are because of cases related to excessive caffeine consumption or caffeine intoxication. So it actually can lead to real health consequences. And remember this, caffeine is never, never, never a substitute for good quality sleep. So try and get some. So if you found this video helpful, entertaining, and educational, please press like and please press subscribe. I want you to subscribe because my next video is gonna be about how to fall asleep faster and some helpful sleep hygiene tips. So this is Dr. Andrew Kim signing off. Be happy, be healthy, be well. Enjoy that cup of coffee, enjoy that energy drink, but in moderation. Energy shots, anybody?